everyone, it's Layla. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the newest TikTok beauty sensation, and that is Clinique's Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This recently took on a life of its own, and the Black Honey lipstick is sold out everywhere. It's sold out on the Clinique website, wherever you're trying to get your hands on it. So everyone's obsessed with this newest lip color that people are talking about on TikTok. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about whether it's really worth all the hype and whether it's really worth tracking it down and the investment. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around and keep watching. So first things first, this lip color was so hard to get my hands on that I just had to find it in a Clinique gift. I could not even purchase a full size product because you just can't find it anywhere. Everyone's obsessed with this. It's sold out everywhere. So um, even on their Clinique website, it says that it's sold out and that they're going to get more in stock soon probably before the holidays, but who knows? So I just happened to purchase stuff. I got it. It came in a gift. And so I'm going to demo this on camera for you today so you can see what it looks like. But you should know that. So this is a sample size, but the full size of this product runs for $20. And that is kind of um, typical for Clinique lip colors. Most of their other lipsticks, including just their regular lipsticks and their chubby sticks, um, they cost around $20. However, it should be noted that the amount of product that you get in the almost lipstick container is 0 0.06 ounces. And then the other lip colors come in 0.13 ounces. So you're getting half the product of the other lip colors with the black honey and it's the same price so just kind of a price point thing to keep in mind so the almost lipstick in black honey is not a new product this has been around since the 70s this is kind of like a cult classic favorite with people who have you know been using it for a really really long time i uh, mentioned this in a few of my other videos i did work for the clinique counter years and years ago and you know this was something that was always a staple on the counter it didn't really sell like it does now because there wasn't all this hype around it. There was just people who loved it and were diehards and would come and buy it. And this also, they had a whole black honey line at one point and it came in like 10 different shades. So the black honey has just been the original. And I think right now it also comes in a pink honey. But uh, so it's kind of been around. It's not a new product. It just, like I said, it went viral on TikTok. So now everyone's hearing about it. So the Black Honey promises the benefits of a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. Uh, so it's very sheer, but the color that you see in the tube is like a plum berry wine color. And a lot of people will look at the color in the tube and get intimidated by this. They're like, that is not my lip shade. That's not for me. Depending on their complexion and the natural color in their lip, a lot of people are turned off when they see that color and rightfully so. But this promises to be very sheer. And it also says that it sort of adheres to everyone's natural lip color and sort of matches everyone's complexion and it just works for everybody. And I think a lot of people are hesitant, but when they try it, they find that to be true. Now, I will tell you right off the bat that when I worked for the Clinique counter and I would try this, I did not like this product at all. So I felt now, and I don't think this is true. I don't know if this is true, but my little thing is that I feel like this was reformulated. Uh, nowhere on the website, nowhere online does it say that it's been reformulated. However, the product that I remember, I remember it being much more sheer and I remember the color, even though it was sheer, it would just, it was like the undertone was deeper than what I remember it to be now. Um, maybe I was just younger and I just didn't like how sheer it was, but I just never liked this before. And so I recently tried it again and I do like it a lot more now. And I thought to myself, well, it even feels different on my lips. It feels more moisturizing these days. So I don't know if it was reformulated or if that's just in my head, but that's kind of the first thing that popped in my head. So if you've tried this a while back years ago and you didn't really like it, I would encourage you to try this again because I just feel like if you're like me, you might like it. Like this might be worth another go. So um, I'm going to try it on camera so you guys can see what it looks like on me with my complexion. And you can see the natural color of my lips right now uh, versus what it's going to look like after I put this on. So before I put on the Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, I am going to put a lip liner on. This is just a habit of mine. I put on a lip liner with almost every lip 
shade that I put on, including chubby sticks or, you know, those chapsticks that have a little bit of color to it. I've just gotten so used to putting on a lip liner. Just everything kind of stays in the lines. So the lip liner that I'm going to be using today is the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips Intense. And this is the shade Intense Blush. It's a neutral color. I feel like it goes with every lipstick and it's just a super, super safe bet. Okay, so as you can see, that's a very natural looking lip liner. Uh, I just overlined slightly. And I think when you do it with a shade like this, it's not gonna be super blatant or visible or just look overlined. So I've used the sample size of the Almost Lipstick in Black Honey only a few times. And as you can tell, it's already gone down quite a bit. So in order for me to demo this right now, I'm gonna put it on with a Q-tip. A lot of times I also just prefer to put my lip color on with a lip brush as well. So if you're ever hesitant to try a lip color, definitely put it on with a lip brush because you can kind of control how much of it you put on. So I'm just gonna grab some product and I'm just gonna put it right on. So as you can see, the color first goes on really dark, but as you continue to blend it and you rub your lips together, it does create a very, very sheer lip color. So don't be intimidated by the mess because it's going to blend out. I'm actually going to use my finger to blend it. So you can build this a little bit more, but this is what it looks like. This is really kind of the gist of it. And the color that it is. As you can see, it looks like just like a very sheer Merlot color. It just works so, so well. It doesn't feel drying, but it also is not matte. It's just sheer, but not too sheer. Like I said, the color that I remember years ago, I felt like it was just too sheer for me and the undertone was darker, but maybe I'm just remembering it wrong or I don't know, but I absolutely love this color. I just feel like it just looks so nice and beautiful. It's not super long lasting, but it's the type of lip color that you can just keep reapplying and you can build this color a little bit more. As you saw when I first put it on, it went on like super sheer, but I built it a little bit more uh, because I like a very bold lip, but I feel like this is a very good compromise. It's sort of an in-between kind of shade. I just think that this is such a beautiful shade for a year round lip color. I think it works in the fall and winter, of course, and then the texture and the feel of it really also I think would work in the spring and summer when you want something really light and not heavy on your lips. You don't want to go for a full glam look like you want a very beautiful sheer summer makeup look. I think this works beautifully. So do I think it's worth the hype? Absolutely. I've seen this shade on so many different people and it just looks gorgeous on everyone that I've seen it on. And I think if you can get your hands on it, I would absolutely recommend it. If you're hesitant, like a lot of people are, then wait for it to come in a gift. It's been in a lot of gifts recently. That's the only way, like I said, that I was able to get my hands on it. So I would just kind of try it out before you buy it and see if you like it. As I said earlier, the price point is a little bit high for the amount of product that you get. But if you just are have a light hand with it, then you don't use as much product. I tend to constantly reapply my lip color. So I go through a lot of lipsticks very, very quickly. So um, overall, I do really love it. I think it's worth the hype. And I am glad that this is making a resurgence right now and people are loving it because, you know, you have the younger generation loving it and then you have people who've been using it since the 70s. So I think that that is really, really cool. If you guys have any other questions about the Almost Lipstick in Black Honey from Clinique, then feel free to let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you in the next video.